There's been a lot of speculation in the media about who will succeed Benedictus as the head of the Vatican. Some point to elderly white man Timothy Dolan from the Big Apple, others to elderly white man Angela Scola, and still others suggest elderly white man Mark Ouellette from Canada. But some wonder if the election of yet another failed, geriatric, soft-minded virgin is really what the church needs. Some suggest that the conclave go bold. After all, does the Pope have to be old? Does he have to be European? Hell, does he even have to be a Christian? So in hopes that we can spur the conclave into taking a much-needed step in a new direction, we at the Scathing Atheists would like to throw our wholehearted endorsement behind a dark horse candidate for the papacy. Eli Bosnick isn't a cardinal, he isn't ordained, he isn't Catholic, he isn't Christian, and in fact recognizes fully that God is a convenient fairy tale fabricated by people who want to avoid work and still reap rewards, which in my mind makes him the perfect candidate for the Vatican's top spot. So Eli, welcome to the show. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So in a nutshell, why do you want to run for Pope? Being an atheist gives me an angle that I think a lot of cardinals, a lot of, a lot of those older white men you were just speaking about, don't have. You know, it's fine to say that the wafer turns into the body of Christ, but, uh, but let's just do a thought experiment here, just so you can see what I'm going for here. Um, so, for instance, a lot of people don't believe in the transubstantiation. Imagine that I'm the Pope for the moment, and I say, uh, when I bless this, this wafer, it turns into the body of Christ. And what would you say to something like that? I would say bullshit. Okay, but do you know where black holes come from? No, well, yeah. Oh, so you of. don't know where black holes come from? Well, no, I know where. What black about dark matter? Dark matter. Do you I have know no everything? Idea. No, I don't know. You everything. see that garbage? That's the kind of garbage that the Catholic Church needs to integrate into a modern setting, I right? See. I Modernize. See. That's that, and that's that's my hope. Um, and that's the argument you're going to bring to the conclave. Well, no, no, the conclave is an entirely different sect. You have to understand that these are these are virgins who have spent their lives pretty much entirely in the company of other men being told very explicitly that they aren't angels, but they are definitely not humans. And you've you got to appeal to the advertising there. I'll give you an example of some of the posters that I've printed out so far. Uh, Vote for Eli Bosnick. You might grow wings. I like it. Right? They don't know that they're not going to grow wings. Again, dark matter, black holes. You don't know that's not true. What about love? What See, about, garbage uh, arguments. They can't really... It's it's a series of nonsense. Well, and, and infallibility comes with a job. So if you say they have wings, they have wings. They have wings unless they're a bunch of atheists. One of the things I want to run on that this is really good. This is this is a leaflet. So it's a little bit longer okay. Than, okay. than they'll probably be used to No bumper sticker. but No uh, bumper sticker, but it's a little bit longer. It's um, so... According to Corinthians 15:14, if Christ be not resurrected, all our prayers are for naught. Come on. Come on. Come on. Even the Bible's like, hey, just in case this isn't true, you should calm down. Right? And that's that's really the whole message that I think the Catholic Church needs to come so, across. So they need to water down the whole religious thing that they're doing. Mm-hmm. If we can embrace, and by we I mean the Catholic Church that I'll soon represent, um the pseudo-spirituality movement, which has no mm-hmm. face. Um, you know, use the word energy just all the time about anything. Doesn't matter what. Take credit for things that aren't yours. You know, uh, you're having a good day? Great energy today. Yeah. It's a great mm-hmm. day for energy. It doesn't mean anything. So, by contrast, You it can't means be wrong. I am not wrong. I, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm yeah. loving it. So that, all, that, that brings me right into my next question, which was going to be how you're going to turn around the attendance numbers. And it seems that you're going to do so by appealing to the spiritual but not religious. Right. There's, there's that and there's also, I mean, there needs to be an element of, of promise, of marketing to the New Catholic Church. I don't know if you can see uh, the, the T-shirt I'm wearing here, but it does say, um, Eli Bosnick for Pope, I will not rape and torture children for realsies. What about all of these priests that have joined the Catholic Church to rape these children? Yeah, you know, some of these people are going to have to be in your corner. And that's a, that, that that's a valid claim. I mean, it's it's simultaneously how do I as pope appeal to um you know the, the what I would call the left wing who are against raping children mm-hmm. and and the more conservatives who are more for raping children right. in the church environment and the truth of the matter is you can have it both ways I, I give you a great example um you know gun control you you can make stricter laws on gun control right it doesn't mean you can't own guns so for instance uh one of the new policies that I've introduced and this, this is a little bit longer than this but it's it's called the don't get caught proceedings and a lot of it has been i don't want to say sloppy work on the part of the church but i mean you know you have the right idea when you rape a deaf kid you have a better idea when you rape a dead kid you know we have uh you have 40 percent of the hospitals having some catholic affiliation in the united states right now how many children saint jude's come on tell me a kid with cancer can fight me off 
absolutely not. And he's not going to be able to come at you 30 years later right, with 30 some later, plane. Oh, he's yeah. going to tell us better? No, the kid's dead next week. I mean, it's called the Saint of Lot Causes for a reason. So, yeah, I mean, it's about balance. Also, you know, giving them a, a larger expansion. And this, this, this is sort of a two-fronted fork mm-hmm. at this point. Um, so, for instance, a lot of people are critical of the Catholic Church, um, you know, condemning condoms yes. when AIDS is so prevalent in Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, So you introduce condoms, and you use those condoms to fuck African children. Did I just blow your mind? Yeah. Because I blew my own. Right. 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 You want to mix it up? Maybe get an Asian kid in there. Or or a South American kid, which which brings us to, obviously, one of the things that is going to be working against your candidacy here. Mm -hmm. One of the few places left that really takes this whole Pope thing seriously is South America. There's been a lot of call for a Latino Pope. If you're voted in by the conclave... One of your first acts is going to have to be something that's going to placate these South American Catholics. Absolutely. Uh, And there's a huge contingency in in South America right now for a South American pope, or or at least a Spanish-speaking pope. Mm -hmm. Um, And to that, I I think if I can announce it on Scathing Atheist, um, I will be changing the transubstantiation from, uh, from the traditional wafer to a Dorito. I, I, I can see that pushing over that last remaining hurdle of South Americans mm-hmm. all the way into the Catholic corner. No, not just that, but also instead of using the word Jesus, I will, of course, be referring to him from this point forward as Jesus. Of course. Yeah. And I think that will make, I think that'll satisfy our South American contingency. And it will also get us backing from Frito Lay. I've had some initial, very good, positive meetings. Um, you know, hey, if they can do tacos after midnight, I'm pretty sure they can do our Lord and Savior. I'm kidding. It's not real. It's all joke. It's just a ridiculous joke. Poor people just believe anything because they're sad. Oh, I want to live in a golden palace. It's going to be so great. I'm going to fuck so many kids. So like superheroes and mob enforcers, when you become pope, you get to change your name. You get to take on a pope name. Have you, have you given any thought to what your pope name will be? Absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the pattern was actually already set. Um, in, as early back as the 70s, we know that uh, Pope John... Um, you know, first introduced the li- the liberalization of the Catholic Church, of condoms and mm-hmm. the hell being an idea. Pope John. Uh, after that, uh, John Paul jumps on the bandwagon, of course, with his further acceptance, his acceptance of gays into the Catholic Church. I mean, really wonderful things before he's shot. Uh, Benedict, of course, breaks that cycle, but I, of course, will be picking it back up again with John Paul George. So I will be John Paul George, and then whoever follows me, hopefully, will be well, John Paul George Ringo. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I like it. All right, so can you give us some examples of the type of papal bulls we're likely to expect from Pope John Paul George? I'd like to beify um, Christopher Hitchens and uh, just generally um, get some hipper things going on. Uh, the, the the dress, uh, me in something black and slinky, small, um, you know, something a little classier. Listen, I love the long flowing look, but I mean, if I'm going to go long and flowing, I'm going Elizabeth II. You know, I'm talking three feet wide, white lace, foam, and, um, you know, the, I I do like, and I I don't want this to seem like I'm just going after Benedict in, in Mm. this, uh, because that's, that's not nice. You know, that's not, that's not what I'm going after. Um, for instance, um, Benedict, of course, made made a great stance this year in uh, making a political statement in his Christmas message Mm -hmm. this year. Uh, The first pope in in almost hundreds of years to condemn a people in his Christmas message. You know, usually they get on. uh, And and I want to take up that challenge. So, for instance, uh, my first Christmas message would be, uh, it seems that 50% of the people who work at Staples know what they're doing. And 50% really don't. They just have no idea. I mean, I want 14 copies of 8x10. That's all I want. It's your goddamn job. <laughs> Just make the copies. And that's, I mean, that's my Christmas message. But I think it's important, you know. Um, I've, got, I've got some slogans here. I want to know what you think of them. Uh, uh, so the first one here is uh, Eli Bosnick for Pope. Mm-hmm. Uh, only against gay marriage if both chicks are hot. Okay. Okay. Uh, Eli Bosnick for Pope. Only against condoms if she's on the pill. Uh-huh. And then, of course, this, this, is, this is a little bit more personal because they, they do go into the personal Inquisition history. Uh, seeing as I am a, a magician, uh, Eli Bosnick for Pope, his magic tricks are better than Jesus. Nice. Yeah, I thought that would nice. be work a little bit of, the, of, of my kids' show material, mm-hmm. do the, maybe the magic coloring book or the bunny out of the hat. 
on Easter. Everybody loves bunny out of the hat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe do an actual change. I get a cracker, and then I, I switch it out real quick for a piece of human flesh. Oh, People I, go crazy for that. Yeah. They'd love yeah. that, right? Do it on the TV. All right. So really quickly, if our, if our listeners want to hear a little more of you, get a little more from you, where can they find you? Uh, they can see me on Twitter at Eli Bosnick, E-L-I, B as in boy, O, S as in silly, N as in Nancy, I-C-K, on Twitter, Eli Bosnick. Excellent. Well, I really appreciate you joining us today. Excellent. Thanks a lot. <laughs>